thought it was a very... Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, here with a special edition of the A-List Review. This is my sixth entry into horror mania. So, uh, check out my other entries. They're, you can find them if you page down. Um, <laughs> uh, to, and as also, Anticipation Friday! And this time we're anticipating the film Paranormal Activity 2, which is released today. So not sure if it's going to be any good or not, but go and see it because it's going to be my BOP, the box office prediction of the week. So, uh, I already reviewed Paranormal Activity, the first one. I gave it a do it. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that review, click in West Troop Presents, the A-list review, dot, colon, thingy, Paranormal Activity. Or just put West Troop Paranormal Activity. And it'll probably come up, um, in YouTube. Um, yeah, I, Paranormal Activity 1 was an interesting film. However... This is not the review for Paranormal, uh, Paranormal Activity. This is a review for a movie that is somewhat kind of the same genre. Um, it is a film that is using supposed real footage uh, next to the movie film. It's hard to explain. I'm sure you've heard of it. It, is, it came out last fall. It is called The Fourth Kind. And, uh, it's interesting. Put it at that. <laughs> uh, the fourth co This film is a thriller slash mystery, I suppose. It could be either genre. Uh, that involves an unsolved ongoing mystery taking place in Alaska. And, uh, unfortunately, Sarah Palin does not get abducted. Rats! Uh, <laughs> that, and this uh, ongoing mystery has to do with... Alien Abduction. That's right, the fourth kind. You may have heard Close Encounters of the Third Kind, which is a hell of a lot better than this movie. Uh, <laughs> by Steven Spielberg from the 70s. Um, uh, an Encounter of the Third Kind is Making Contact. Uh, an Encounter of the Fourth Kind is Abduction. Uh, which looks good on paper. However, I think they should have stopped at the third. <laughs> so, uh, th there's that. Um... In 40 years, this town, Nome, Alaska, uh, has seen a huge number of unexplained disappearances. If they're little girls, they might be in my uncle's basement. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the disappearances, which people think may have been a federal cover-up for alien abductions. <gasps> Uh-oh. So this film is supposedly based on true events. Where the movie footage, some of these scenes, the movie footage is side by side to supposedly what is called actual footage. So like it'll be a split screen and they'll have the actors that we know are actors. Then there's supposedly the actual footage that they taped while doing this case study. So, keep that to look forward to. The star of the film, Mila Jovovich, who you of course know from Resident Evil movies and whatnot, um, tells us in the very beginning, Hi, I'm actress Mila Jovovich, and I'm here to portray the role of Dr. Abigail Tyler, blah blah blah. Um, I saw one critique of this movie that said, uh, we know it's a bad movie, or we know it's fake, because Mila Jovovich said she's an actress. I'm like, oh wow, that's just a... That's a punch in the crotch right there. But uh, So this Dr. Abigail Tyler supposedly has had uh, patients who have all been, uh, have similar stories uh, and that have said they have been abducted pretty much. Um, and uh, this film also co-stars Elias Cotes. I think that's how you say it. Uh, <laughs> he's the only other person I knew in this film, so... Uh, some thought the actual, actual footage was disturbing and scary. I thought the actual footage was lame and stupid. <laughs> so, uh, to each his own, you know, to each his own. You know, I thought it was an interesting idea. Um, 
I wasn't sure when I heard about the movie what was going on with the actual footage and whatnot. But, I mean, just sitting through it, I could tell it was a hoax. You know, it, it's not real uh, footage. Especially the one where the one guy shoots his family. Not to not to ruin it for you, because it won't ruin the whole movie. But you see him shoot his whole family. I'm like, that cannot be real footage. They would not show that in a movie. <laughs> so, um... Especially if it was real, you know, this guy just killed his family. Oh, yeah, just show it in a movie. But, uh, <laughs> um, it, it, it seemed like it was sort of like a, when you find out it's a hoax, you, which they don't tell you in the film, but I found out on the internet before I went to see it because I was interested to see what was going on with this. And, uh, that Dr. D Abigail Tyler doesn't exist and whatnot. Um, it, it seems sort of like a waste of time. Like, was it really necessary for them to split screen all the time so you have a fake actor portraying a fake actor? It didn't really do anything for me. Um, like I said, it was an interesting idea, but I don't think it really paid off. This film is in the spirit of Blair Witch and Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity 2, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't live up to those uh, movies. It, you were supposed to think the footage is real and it's not. Um, it just doesn't live up to anything. <laughs> it really doesn't. It's not a good alien movie. It's, uh, if you want to see a good alien movie, rent District 9. Or watch District 9. District 9 is one of my favorite alien movies. Uh, even Close Encounters of the Third Kind is definitely really good compared to this. Uh, anything is good compared to this. Uh, my friend John Browning <laughs> called this film a rectal wart. And uh, I definitely have to take him up on that. Um, that is that is one hell of a review. It's called film a rectal wart. So yeah, there's not much I can say more than that. Um, <laughs> therefore, the A-list gives the film the fourth kind. Why I bought it, I'm not sure. I guess I'm hard up for entertainment. I'm hard up to spend my cash. Um, the film, the fourth kind, the rating of suck it. Um, yeah. A lot of critics agree with me. They say to suck it. So, um, if you're if you're intrigued to see some of this, what the real footage looks like, um, and whatnot, be my guest. If you're a Mila Jovovich fan, be my guest. Uh, she was pretty much the best part of it. Uh, <laughs> it's just a little, I don't know. I, I I wasn't buying into it. I didn't really care for it much. So, it is what it is. Uh, next week, I'm going to have a whole lot more reviews with Horror Mania. So keep watching. And be afraid. So, till next time. Oh, watch the A-list today, too, by the way, peeps. So, till next time. Troop.